Hey y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. We are at Cycle Tech in Fremont, Iowa. Even until yesterday, I didn't know there was such a thing as a French motorcycle. This is a French made Sherco 450. Never seen one in my life. It's a big single cylinder, it's liquid cooled, it's lightweight, it's powerful, and uh, you know what? Let's just take it for a ride and see what we can learn. Oh, sounds good, sounds good. Let's go, let's go see what happens. <laughs> We're gonna take it easy with it. It's a brand new motorcycle. It's got a hard seat. Take it back here and uh, see how it performs back in the uh, field area. It's got a lot of power, I can tell that right away. <laughs> the front wheel came off the ground pretty darn easy and I was leading forward. <laughs> I think we've got plenty of power. <laughs> what a machine. I don't know what it has for suspension, but they look massive, like 49 millimeter or so. I'm sure it's got a foot of suspension on the front and rear. Definitely a, definitely a hot rod machine, without a doubt. The clutch has got an interesting feel to it. I'm trying to feel that out. It's got good feel. It's got good feel. I should have took it down the gravel and uh, got a little more intimate with it before I came back here. It's an interesting machine for sure. Back in the pond area. So Sherco, made in uh, France, some of them, the trial, they're known for their trials bikes and their enduros and these kind of things, but their trial bikes are made in um, Spain. And these bikes like this are made in France. Oh, it's got so much power. It's got so much power. It, just, it wants to go sing. It wants to go scream, actually. Oh my gosh. You know, here we are putting around in a 450. And it's not giving us any trouble at all. The clutch is a very interesting thing. And I mean that in a good way. It just, it's a different kind of thing. You know, every bike has a different kind of clutch and every brand seems to have a way that they want the clutch to feel. And uh, this French one is the same way. You know, they're all their own thing. I like this a lot. I do like this a lot. How about the brakes? Let's see how it does going slow here. No troubles at all. You feel like you're sitting over the bars. You really do. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I need to scoot back a bit. You know, that means you have a lot of control over the front tire, right? Look at this, we're just putting along. No flame out, no, uh, no stalling problem. No, <laughs> It's got plenty, plenty of torque. Just loads of torque. I like that. So this is the first time I've ridden one of these. We are going to come back to Cycle Tech and check one of these out. We'll ride. Uh, they've got a, a mess of two strokes in there, 300 cc years, and we'll uh, we'll come back another day and ride some of those. We rode the. Uh, I've ridden. I rode two of their betas today. I rode their uh, Beta 390 RS race version, which has a title and it's street legal, amazingly. And I rode the brand new ALF X350. Only two in America, and they've got one. <laughs> uh, this bike is a, this is a performance machine. Absolute performance machine. It handles a lot different than the Betas. And I'm not saying that's good or bad, I'm just saying it's different. And we would expect that on a bike like this. It's got an interesting engine. It got a very good sound. I really like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> I think I'll park it over here and we'll uh, get the other camera out and do a quick video. What do you all think of that? So, the Rider's Edge, it says. I'm way up in the air. I love it. <laughs> All right, Joe.
Wahoo! Just took this little hot ride out for a spin up around the pond and through a bunch of rough stuff. Not too rough. We had a lot of rain here, so the end was pretty muddy back there. And this is a brand new bike. But check this hot ride out. This is a French made Sherco SEF 450. So what is that? Well, I don't know. It's a, it's a French motorcycle. Just a couple days ago, it French motorcycle. Those were two words I don't think I've ever spoken in my life. So it's a French motorcycle. It's pretty hardcore. Has a little bit I rode it. It's very reactive. It had modes and I didn't realize that, but you has, it has a high and a low mode. I don't know if I had the high mode on or not, but uh, we'll ride it again another day. I'm definitely going to come back and ride another one. But it was very reactive. Very reactive. Just check this thing out. Sherco. Sherco. <laughs> it's a big single cylinder, liquid cooled. You know, 450 cc's, six-speed transmission, big old clutch right there. You know, it's got all the right gear for a tough bike. Armored sides, KYB shock on the back, mono shock, aluminum swing arm. Check out this front. KYB's on the front. I'm guessing those are 49s. I'm not sure. Look at all that travel. I bet it's a foot. Same on the rear. Uh, let's see if we can find the tire side. It's a Michelin tire on the front. It looks like a 90, 90, 21. Absolutely amazing. Just look at that thing. Check out the brake on the other side. Big old disc, check that out. Oh, Brembo, it's dual caliper Brembo on the front. Wow. I wonder if this is for ABS. Electronics? Not sure about that. I don't know enough about that. I'm going to research the heck out of it. Like I said, until yesterday, I didn't know these existed. So really an amazing thing. But look at the detail. I mean, it's just really, really quite a motorcycle. Coming over here, it's got the little foldy lever on the shifter. Armor, armor. Airbox is, uh, you pop this off and there's an airbox right through here. Very easy to get to. Clear tank for fuel. I'm not sure what the capacity is. Very tall seat. I'm going to guess 37, 38 inches, so 940 millimeters maybe. Look at that clearance right there. Just look at that. Doesn't that just look like artwork? Even the kickstand is something to see. I love the back end here. A little tail light right there. I don't know if this is street legal or not. Uh, doesn't have blinkers on it. Maybe they could make it street legal. It's got a Michelin 140 80 18 on the rear. Big old beefy 18. Brembo on the back again. Single disc. Just check that out. Just check out the detail there. Done a great job with that, haven't they? I like it. The seat was hard for sure. It's the stock seat. There's no key to turn it on and off. You hit the start switch and it goes. Hit the kill switch and it stops. After a while, it turns itself all the way off. Looks like adjustable forks, of course, on the front. I'm sure the rear is the same way. I just don't know how to do it. Oh, oh right there, I'm, I'm guessing. Just, you know, a lot of detail here. Split radiators. Yes, of course. That way the wheel can go back farther when it goes up and down. Whole lot of room right through here, isn't there? Check out that fender. <laughs> the big old beak. I like this a lot. A lot of detail here. Skid plate is... Ah, that's some of that heavy plastic. That's interesting. That's the way they go. They say it slides over rocks better. Just check out all the detail. I am just in awe of these. So, so I rode this and I rode the Beta 390 today. The Beta 390 was, I would say both of them are in the same league performance wise. This one's a little more hardcore, I'd say. I'm not saying the Beta isn't fast or faster. I'm saying the Beta was a little easier to ride. This was, I need to get used to this one. I should have took this one down the gravel. You know, I, I took the Beta eight or nine miles of gravel before I took it on off the road. So I got to know it. I got to know it a little better, but uh, just a gorgeous bike. Jumping up here to the dash. We've got a kill switch. I don't know. I suppose those are high lows for the lights. Adjustable clutch lever. Had very interesting feel on the clutch. Hey, that says Brembo. Hydraulic clutch. Hydraulic brakes. Also Brembo. Not sure what that. Oh, start button. And this, I think, is a mode button right here. Sherco grips. It's an interesting bike. If you haven't seen one of these, get yourself down here to Cycle Tech of Fremont, Iowa. Sell these Shercos. They sell Betas. They're up over yonder. They sell these, what are these called? Segways. I'm going to try to come back when we get a little snow on the ground and see if we can take one of these out for a ride. Especially one of these, uh, I think he said it was like 110 horsepower or something like that. Real hot rod. Anyway, if you all are interested in something like this, new or used, get yourself over here to Cycle Tech, Fremont, Iowa. Those guys can help you out. Now I've got a long ride home, so I'm going to hop on a motorcycle and hit the road. Y'all do the same if you can. Life is good. Wahoo.
once you get used to it, it's pretty neat. Nice. You go into a parking lot and do that, people look at you like, what the hell?